Okay, so um, <clears throat> let's go and see how you guys did with this exercise. Um, so I, I kind of do my best to um, have a look as close as possible to the example. I know the buttons doesn't match well, but that's fine. So I have two uh, list box here. List box one is the uh, call mine the LST from. The second is just LST destination. For the SD2 is okay too, but uh, I think destination sounds better for me. And then the button here is, I should call it BTN book flight. And then I have an output here in a text field called uh, just TXT message. Okay. <coughs> and I, I locked that there. So I changed the enabled property to false. So you cannot check it, you cannot modify it. Um, and if you run this now, you see that it looks like that, right? So I could select any of these desk, um, from here and then go to the two and then I'll click book flight. It should show the message down here. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> again, I'm not doing anything here or here or here. All I'm doing is just inside the button here, right? The button is the one that receives the event. The others do not. Um, <clears throat> And so I'm going to double click this book flight button to get to the code here. All right, so walk me through this. What did you do first? Anybody? Did you have it? No? So what is the first thing you should do? You look at this from here. What are you getting? What are the inputs? Right, the process, you read the input, you process it, output. Okay, so where's the input coming from here? What are you trying to do here? From the front box. Yeah, the from box and also from the to box, right? Okay, so use the checks for the from, I'm gonna go from here to here. Those are your inputs, okay? Um, <clears throat> so if that's the case, then you need to have two inputs for those. So you could dim one for like uh, the um, start, maybe start location as a string. Again, depends on how you, <clears throat> so I guess you, you want to think also, are you checking the index positions here or are you checking the actual text inside each box? So you can choose either way. In this case, again, because they're all sorted and the, the, um, they all match in the same order, then you can easily check the index position, okay? Um, or you can check the actual location, uh, the actual values here will be like the text, okay? Um, so let's just say we'll, we'll just check the index position because it's all sorted. It, it's much, much uh, easier that way. So we don't mistype the name, okay? So I'm gonna change the, um, to here to just say start location uh, which is start index so this would be an, an integer okay so uh, index is always uh, usually always integer to track something to count something so this is the start index and then also have the um, end index right what is destination mm -hmm. index it's called end is fine so I have both of those and basically, I want to read the start index from the first box and then compare that with the index of the end and see if they match or they don't match or vice versa, right? So read input. <coughs> so here, read input. The start index equals what? What should we read that from? The from box, right? The like Omar was saying. So it's from the LST from the index, so we want to get the selected index. Okay, if I selected the first one, then that'll be index of what's the first index going to be? If I select the first, the first item, what's the index? What's the number going to be? Zero, right? Okay, so that's the start index, and then the end index is coming from the second box, which is the LST uh, destination index uh, box. 
again is the selected index so I got my destination and got my um, starting index or the embarking place and so it says it asks us to do what <coughs> if the same airport is selected from both list boxes the user should be informed that the departure arrival approach must be different okay so you want to check if the start index equals the end index if they're the same I mean they are flying from the same airport to the same airport you can't do that so you can say um, the message should be uh, something else so up here you should add another variable uh, we call the message okay to store the message because uh, it's going to have only one message in the end to display back out to the text box right if they are the same then we want to say the message box is going to be um, what do we say here that departure and arrival reports must be different so I'm just going to copy this okay and then uh, put it here to say might be too long but departure and arrival airports must be different may not fit all in there but we'll see <clears throat> if that's the case then that else we just have one else because if it's not same then it should work okay it's different then the message will say you are flying from <clears throat> ah so this is the other part how do you how do you get that text so I guess we're gonna have to use both of them here so you could create another variable um, if you want <laughs> which I think we should do um, just to make it easier so we've got the index we've got the index and we got the um, so let's just put in here add like uh, the departure as string you can do both in a single line departure and destination okay a string <laughs> And then right in here as well, the input will be like um, the departure will be equal to the LST um, from dot text, right? And then the destination is the LST destination dot text. So if you look at this, you can kind of redundant here, but you could check for the the actual um, destination import. So the the since I did the index, I checked the index. You could also do something like this if uh, departure equals destination, right? Then uh, you put the message here, right? You can do that here as well. So, either way. But since we, where we did the other uh, index, we'll keep it as that. Then you say you are flying from. And then we're going to concatenate that with the uh, departure airport. And then add, append that with two, and then we append that with the destination airport. Okay. So basically, we just have those two options. If they're equal, then you say you can't, you know, the uh, must be different. Uh, otherwise, you have the correct. Um, airports all right so uh, let's run this and see if that works so here if I check um, <coughs> the first one is index is zero zero so I should get the error message right here I didn't why 
How come I don't see any message? Anybody can tell me why? There's no message. Right. Right? So we didn't send the output at all. We did the input, we did the calculation, but there was the output. Okay, so that's the last thing we need to do down here. So right here, right below it, we're going to say the txt message dot text equals the message. Okay? And then now we'll see this is the output. Right? Output here. Um, read input here. This is all of here will be uh, the process. Process output here. Okay, so input, process, output. So let's do that again. I click the first one. Let's say departure and right force must, must be different. Okay, if I click the second one before Boston, I get you're flying from, I think this is AS, AUS, is that Austin? Yeah, for here, or well, from Austin maybe, uh, to Boston. Okay, so JFK to Boston. JFK to JFK, you get the error message and so on. Okay? <clears throat> so this is for, uh, you test the index. And since you are doing uh, the destination here as well, you are reading the actual text from the list box, then you could put that in here. So if I copy this and replace it with the index part here, I should get the same thing. As long as the text match, right? If you, one has lowercase, one has uppercase, then they, will, they don't match. And they will never match. You have to force it to be either um, uppercase or lowercase. So that's why if you know the index number in this way, it's better to use the index. Um, because the text can be changed, but the index will never change. Okay, it's always a number. So if I do this, I, I should still work. Okay, if I click uh, Boston, Boston, right, Boston to BWI. Okay, so I'm checking the actual uh, text here. Okay, any questions on how um, this was uh, coded? This is one way of using the if here. You can also use the uh, select case is fine too. Again, this sample will be a kind of bad for select case because you only have two <coughs> simple statements there. So um, it, would be, uh, it wouldn't be a good choice for a select case. Again, here I put everything in variable names because this way we can see it easily, right? You can, you can tell right away this is the departure, this is the destination here and so on. If you don't do this, then you could read directly here, instead of saying departure, I could just say LST dot text, the, the, the from and the to here, right? The list box from dot text to the list box uh, destination dot text. Okay, and that would still be fine. Okay, because I'm um, reading directly from the text box here. Okay. So it, it's it's okay too. All right. <clears throat> and same thing. Departure could I could put that in here, but I mean I don't recommend it. I'm just showing that yes you can. It's just like kind of bad coding because it's a lot of typing. You might you might um, accidentally you know get this from. What if you accidentally type that in here, right? There's no error. And if you run this, you always get. Departure must be different. Departure must be different because you mistype that field here. Okay, so uh, this is not recommended. Okay. All right. So, any if you have any questions on this chapter or these uh, the list box and the ready buttons and so on, um, again, just don't <laughs> forget to send me an email. Right, so let's go over um, the different topic.